Hello, hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty. Welcome from the noisy, beautiful city of New York. I am actually here in a hotel, and today I wanted to do a get ready with me, showing you some of my luxury makeup pieces in creating a look. I'm also going to show you how to take a very mundane lounge piece from zero to 60 just by using accessories, and also how to complement an expensive piece using accessories. So without further ado, let's get started. Hopefully you would like, subscribe, and share. I love to love you here. This portion of the video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm in love with Ana Luisa. You all know I've been an ambassador with them for the past few months. I've showed you the Rebecca piece as well, the Rebecca necklace, I should say, and the Celeste earrings. Um, in this video, I'm showing you the Cardi set, and I'm wearing this with my olive and oak uh, gray jumper that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, and I played it down with the Celeste earrings. And the reason why is because we don't want a pronounced neck piece and a pronounced earring, because then the it's a distraction to the eye, and the eye does not know where to focus whether it's the earring or the necklace and it kind of takes away from the look you don't want your pieces to compete against each other moving on into the expensive piece this is the Emporio Armani uh, velvet black jacket and I'm showing you this with different glasses as well because you know you can wear very fashionable glasses and really nice pieces with an expensive piece and it won't take away from it, but you have to be very thoughtful in your choosing. So I chose the Prada Cat Eye sunglasses to wear with this jacket, as well as the, the pieces that I got from Ana Luisa and the Rebecca piece, so I kind of layered them together. And it looks very New York, very, very chic, very meatpacking district, very Chelsea marketplace. And I really do love this. Uh, the next look is actually using my Salvador Ferragamo sunglasses. And this just changes the personality altogether. We're getting Beverly Hills at the Grove having brunch. We are also getting Paradise Island in the Bahamas at the Atlantis Hotel having lunch in our private chef make our meal. I'm just putting my mind where it needs to be right now because 2020 has been a year. However, guys, I wanted to mention too that you can take advantage of the BOGO 50% off sale that Ana Luisa is having. They are a sustainable brand and their goal is to have a 100% carbon footprint. Um, what I do love about this brand is they're using recyclable metals to make their pieces. They don't tarnish. And the same jewelers that make Tiffany & Company actually makes their brand. They start at $35, so it's very um, affordable. And if you want to go into the fine jewelry, then I definitely say you can step on over into that land. And might I add the Laurel ring? I am in love with this ring. Can you all see this? It is a gold piece. It does not connect all the way, and that's why I love it. It is so, so pretty, and with brand nail polish, it actually looks fantastic. Look at this together, even on my dark blue robe. This robe is from Simone Perel. I actually love that brand. So let's get into this makeup look because I'm super excited to show you all what I have in my collection and how to take your look from zero to 60. We're really gonna focus on the eyes because we're covering our face with masks. So I will still do a lip look, but we're going to make the eyes stand out because again, we're wearing masks, even though I'm wearing a lippy. So my lip, I will play down. My eyes, I will play up, just like I mentioned with the clothing and the accessories. So without further ado, my beautiful friends, let's get started. Okay, so I dipped the lights so that you all can really see the makeup look. I'm going in with the Chanel Candior et Seduction palette. This one is from the Fall 2020 collection that Lucia Pica actually brought together. She is reimagining uh, the world of pink, and this is such an exquisite palette, but I will leave the link to everything down below. So I just wanna show you all what this looks like. I've showed this in a lot of previous videos, but it's just a beautiful um, combo. You see a lot of different reds, but hues of pink and then this beautiful shimmer shade with a 
hue of pink in it as well. So we're gonna go into that on the eyes. What I'm going to do is, I'm bringing you all in really close. I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade right here, but I'm going to use my fingers because I really want a deep application. And I feel like, look at that friends, look at that. This formula in the Chanel quad, it's, it's all of Chanel's quads. They are just really soft and just very luxurious. And I do love that my fingers kind of bring this, brings it into my inner tear duct area because it really opens up the eye when you lighten that area. So friends, I absolutely forgot to mention the foundation that I have on that I am in love with. And this was recommended from my wonderful friend, Angela Barthel from Chantecai. And this is the Chantecai Future Skin in Carob and Suntam. And she's the director of makeup artistry at Chantecai and I really adore her. And I put on a little bit of Estee Lauder Double Wear just to clean up my brows, lighten up underneath my eyes, and just a smidget of the Fenty um, Honey Setting Powder. So that's what I put on before I came on camera, and I'm so sorry. Oh, on my brows, I'm also using the Dior Brow Show in 002, but I will leave a link to all of that down below. Um, I'm gonna go into my transition area. I'm gonna go back into this beautiful palette and from Chanel, and I'm going to go into this um, cranberry-like shade, and I'm using the Chanel double-sided um, brush. This one has a blender, oh, this one here is the densely packed side to apply product. And this one is the blending side to blend out your product. So I'm just gonna use this. I have a little bit on here already. So I'm just gonna use this in my transition area. And again, it is really about playing up the eyes. This brush is like none other. It places the product where you need it. And it's all about getting the right type of brushes. As you can see, it's deepening up my eyes. And I, I love this. I love, 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 love this palette. And again, just a little bit. You don't need a lot of this. Okay, friends, just to prep my eyes for falsies, I'm just going to use a sample of the Chanel Stretch Mascara just to create a nice base for my lashes to adhere to. Taking this also onto the lower lash line. So now I'm going into lashes. These are the Lady Sarita lashes from my lash line. And I love these, I've already worn them. I don't know how many times already. They're very wispy, um, very choppy as you can see, so it doesn't take away from the eyeshadow. I created these lashes because I didn't want something to overpower a look or to hide an eye shadow look. I also wanted something very lightweight, easy to apply that you can wear all day and it doesn't weigh down the eye. So um, we're gonna get these prepped with some lash glue and throw these on. All right, friends, while I wait for the lash glue to dry, let's go in with bronzer. This is the Gucci bronzer in shade number five. I absolutely love this. Thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn actually gifted this to me and I am in love with this. Um, she's much lighter than I am, so um, I'm very appreciative of her sending this. I'm just going in with a fluffy brush. I was going to use my Scott Barnes brush, but I think that's just way too big. Taking that into the hairline. and then bringing this down. What I really love is um, some of my subscribers say that I make makeup so simple that they can follow it. And honestly, I don't wanna get anybody lost with putting on makeup. It should not feel like a daunting task. It should feel simple and easy, effortless. So to those subscribers that said that, thank you, because that's encouraging to me to know that I'm not getting you lost in the makeup application, that you can actually follow along with me and, um, and we just do our makeup together. I love it. So I'm just making sure that I'm not over bronzing, but as you can see that it is bringing in some contrast, a beautiful contrast. 
So please forgive the noise from the street if you're hearing street noise. Um, I'm gonna go into my cheeks right now. I have my lashes on, but I'm going to line them as well with a gel liner. But um, I absolutely love, love, love these Lady Sarita lashes. I know that the most popular ones are the Lady Sarah and the Lady Grace, but um, I guess because nobody has gotten a chance to try the Lady Sarita yet, but I'm in love with these. They're, you can still see my eyeshadow and they're very lengthy and yeah, I'm in lightweight, comfortable to wear. I love these lashes. I'm gonna go into my cheeks and I'm going in with the Bronze Goddess palette. I'm going in with the shade number five, which is this beautiful orange shade, in with my Lancome um, cheek brush. And I'm just gonna dust a little bit on my cheeks, just on the woo. You see, this is very pigmented very pigmented but it's so beautiful this retails for about 55 dollars and i will leave a link below and i'm going to do the other side you really want to get onto those high points gives more of a youthful look and take it towards the ear and remember less is always more you can always build it up if you need a little bit more but start off with less so i'm just going to line the top of my um, lash line with a little bit of the Chanel um, this is their liquid liner in noir I love this especially when you have on lashes because of that long applicator nose that really helps you to get easily into that lash line as you can see here I, I do have to use the mirror but you can start underneath and then just lightly add it to the top this and the Fenty fly liner are my favorites so there you go and you see it gives it a different look right this is it with the liner this is it without the liner and definitely check me out at ig at chandelier lashes i'm new i'm you know i'm taking my time i'm a one woman show with this lash line and i'm really trying to give my all to my customers and really wanting to give you quality of an experience. I want every woman to feel special and it really does take time and really trying to work through the nuances of being, um, you know, a lash, luxury lash line owner. Um, it, it, it has taken some work, my friends, it really has. But I, I pray that you all support and I hope that you all would love them. If you do support, most people have given me nothing but really great feedback, so I'm really grateful for that. All right, friends, so uh, one of the things that I like to do is line my lips with Chanel Ciché, which is an eyeliner, but it looks so beautiful on the lips, but I'm not doing that today. I'm going in with the Chanel Chestnut Color first, so this would act as my liner. So I'm just gonna take this around the periphery I'm doing this without a mirror and I better use one because I don't want this to be uh, crazy looking. Oh, smooth to the lips. This is from the Rouge à Lèvres Velvet Extreme line. Um, and what I do love about this is it's a true cocoa. All right, friends, so we're gonna go in with the Chanel, uh, let's see what this is. This is the Rouge à Lèvres Velvet and it is not the extreme it's more of a satiny finish this one is libra you can get a really good application so just taking that bullet more towards my lip line to make my lips look fuller okay so the highlighter that i'm going after is none other than mirage and this is from the bronze goddess collection from Estee Lauder. You all know that I'm an Estee Lauder fan. This is a beautiful rose gold shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna go on to the high points here, starting out here. Again, less is more. And then starting right here. And taking it right down this area. And making sure that I get that beautiful application a little bit on the nose a little bit down right here okay so tying in the look I'm just gonna get a little bit of my Mac skin finish in dark deep and I'm just gonna dust that over everything I tend to do this a lot just so that everything looks like one cohesive piece and there's not a lot of 
you know, areas where you can see where this started and where it stopped. So you don't have to use a lot, just a little bit. So playing up the eyes is important in this season <laughs> with nice, beautiful lashes, chandelier lashes, as well as beautiful makeup. Um, you can still look very attractive just putting your eye look together, especially now because we have to cover our mouths. So here is the finished look. Definitely loved how this came together. So please take advantage of the Ana Luisa sale. As you can see, these pieces look absolutely adorable, even with this robe on. And the chandelier luxe lashes with this entire look just brought it to life, even with wearing a mask. And I've been wearing my lashes for a very long time. I probably need to change these ones out. It's been more than 25 wears that I've gotten with these lashes. But I will leave Ana Luisa's um, sale and the link to purchasing these pieces from them. I will also leave in the description box a link to all of these items that I have showed in the video. Please let me know what you'd like to see from me next because I'm going back to skincare on Monday. But if you like videos like this, definitely leave that down in the comment section below as well. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.